Hey everybody, welcome back to our adventure in Dragonlance. We are going to be jumping right back into it after <clears throat> the events of our last session where our players uh, were summoned to the aid of Calaman to essentially take back a lost outpost, a first sign of aggression from the Red Dragon army where they have taken actual military assets from the city-state and that can't stand. So our players have decided to be the vanguard for the response force that is being sent here, led by our old friend Raven, formerly Mayor Raven, a Vogler. <clears throat> and uh, to our players' disappointment, we see that the forces being arrayed against Wheelwatch Outpost are not veteran. They are, in fact, fresh-faced recruits, and this could very easily be Raven's first command. So the idea of watching a lot of these Vogler recruits and Raven herself mash their bodies up against fortifications and well-trained soldiers doesn't sit well with our party. So they have gone and agreed to Raven's initial plan that she suggested to Derret, who then delivered it to our party, that the players sneak into Wheelwatch Outpost and open the defensive gates so that the army can then rush in and easily overwhelm the defenders. Otherwise, you're looking at ladders and uh, battering rams, and that's just that's a little too ugly for what we want to accomplish here today. So, our players made it to Wheelwatch Outpost and were able to via mouse and druid chicanery uh, scout the entirety of the fortress without ever being spotted which was a feat in itself we also discovered that inside the stable are not horses uh, in fact there's something in the stable that is rather alarming uh, but we didn't explore that too much farther for risk of being detected so we essentially were able to probe every room of the fortress, figure out where things were, discover that there is, in fact, a lot of people here, uh, and a couple captives held in the jail cell. Now, our party, armed with this information, decided to sneak in and open the gate as planned. They had a very elaborate plan with some escape rope and invisibility, and it was going great. We had it. <laughs> so close. <laughs> it's going great up until uh, our invisible agent discovered hey, the gate mechanism has a lock. <laughs> this is one of the few Dungeons and Dragons parties without a thief. <laughs> Why do the bad guys so... have to be practical? What the hell? <laughs> so we got to enjoy a rather tense moment where Thrag, behind enemy walls and lines, <laughs> unable to communicate with his party in any way whatsoever, had to figure out what to do about the fact that he can't get the gate open. And how the hell is he going to get back to his friends? Thankfully, uh, thanks to the Pass Without a Trace spell, he was able to do so relatively easily. Uh, was not detected by any of the myriad of defenders patrolling around him and returned to the party to relay this distressing information. Having learned these things, they decided, you know what? We're going to go take a nap. <laughs> We're going to approach this in the morning. And that is where we are at today, having rested at the forward camp for the attack forces from Calaman having instructed Raven that the party is going to make another attempt at getting it open and to uh, hold off any initial attack until uh, the party has had their attempt at making this easier for everyone. And that is where I will welcome us all back. Thank you for joining me today, both players and viewer. Um, and <laughs> how, how's it going, Pig? <laughs> um, 
And yeah, uh, I'll hand the torch back to you guys. Your party awakes in the morning. And Alex, you mentioned you were going to do some druid craft. What you will have discovered is the weather today is going to be overcast, but no rain. Put up a robot on me. Thank you, weatherman Alafi. Who went robot? <laughs> Did I robot? You did not robot for us. It would be Alex and who would be roboting. I've been roboting a lot lately. You were so clear. I, I, I think it was me that roboted there. Um, <laughs> I heard you discovered, and then the weather. Rawr, rawr. The weather is overcast. Perfectly okay. good robot timing. The weather is <laughs> tornado, earthquake, <laughs> sharknado. <laughs> run, okay. run, higher ground Right it's sideways <laughs> <laughs> So yeah um, The torch is in The hands of the party now What would you like to do? We're heading back to camp Right? So the last thing we, we all did Did we all decide on that? Yeah. Did that happen is... in canon? Yes it happened we, in canon. we are at the Did we lose someone? I think we lost our DM. Yeah. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the cameras are a little messed up. I was gonna say he because both I lost the music. Stream dropped. <laughs> yep. Wait, he's back. Okay. There he is. Get, All right. Get that stream back going. You're you're splitting two like uh. A... <laughs> that's that's one that's one way to kill a serpent. <laughs> That's how we won the day. It's funny because you were like, are you roboting? No, I'm crystal clear. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no that, Amazing. That be, it? Did our stream go down? No. Why would no. it go down? I would have to go. <laughs> and even then, it's just recording. So whatever Ed sees is. <laughs> right. Yeah. This is all still on YouTube. Hi, pig. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so back at I the think camp. Last time, yeah, yeah. Did we do we anything? had talked about like strategy-wise, regardless, think... wanting to silence the bedroom to keep those guards from waking up to whatever it is we did outside. Right, so that was one of the things when we plans. actually do the assault. When right? we were planning, yeah, we wanted to we wanted to make sure all the sleeping guys were gone because we didn't get caught, so they don't know Correct. that anything's happening yet. Yeah. The element of surprise. I um, think that's still a great plan. Yes. And then we take things out one at a time and hope that we don't get mobbed. Yeah. And just that, that's if we're to gonna fight at choke points. Fight at choke points, and then if we do right. feel swarmed, we should probably if we have if we feel swarmed and we are going to be swarmed and we have an exit, we may need to consider taking it. <laughs> um, I forever will have one feather fall per day, I believe. Forever. Well, that gets us off of the walls, so that could be a really great escape plan if we're attacked and have access to getting out. I doubt we walk through those arrow slits, but if we're on a battlement, it could be a good escape. Take a couple of arrow shots, run into the woods. There's no woods. Battlements run are away. always close, at least, right? Zigzag. What'd you say? The battlements are always close, at least. They're right there, yeah. I'm just thinking a situation where we're up in that top room and both doors get swung up. Probably wouldn't, actually. Yeah, because getting one of those it, doors is kind of difficult. Hard to have the uh, this door get blocked. Yeah, this door. I'm on the. Oh yeah, this one. That would be a pain in the ass for them to get over to for sure. Yeah, oh. that one is open to the courtyard, but is right. like there's no way up there. Worst thing that can happen in here is we don't manage to lock down one of the uh, Dracar Draconians, and they run into this room and start shaking people. Yeah, that, right. could, that could be bad but as long as we're able to, to just nuke these two 
and then keep this room asleep. I think we can yep. tower to tower. How, what's the difference between these towers? Hmm, 100 feet. How fast does sound travel? Too fast. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, because the room is silenced, it's like, think of it, think of it like, you know, in terms of, of how combat would work, you know? One guy would have to run in there, and every turn wake up a guy, and then that guy would be confused. Yeah, for like waking up around the yeah, around the thing. Yeah, it would be a little it. slower for them to start waking guys up. You are correct. Just like they can't hear, they don't know what's going right. on. Right, they're, they're just having a really good night. Theoretically, that room is also unarmed and unarmored until they get up and get around right. too. And this is getting I mean, in. I'm, I'm sure swords are around the beds, but right, yeah. they aren't going to sleep in their armor because then they'd just be yes. getting, they'd be exhausted. But uh, this, I doubt this, this would happen. But it's kind of an interesting theory of if your room went literally completely super silent, like ultra silent, would that be enough to wake you up? Would that be disturbing to your ears <laughs> to be that quiet? Yeah. I don't know. Probably not. You're in dreamland. Who knows? If you're completely unconscious, I would think so. I would think it wouldn't matter if it was literally the quietest it could possibly keep, like be in existence. I think you'd still sleep through it. And again, like we are used to cramped people noises that right. are not a thing in this right. kind of universe. Interesting. But who knows? Yeah, I think that Josephine is still super on board with that plan. We made we like made it when we were concluding yesterday, and I think yeah, if I recall, we were like deciding that we were making that while we were resting or something, right? In canon, but we talked in care in, in as players. Yeah, I think so. I think probably three here. Bill. We we counted. It was three, two. three, and one of them had one of them had two, and then one of them still had three. But there was one with two floors. I think it was this one. This one has two floors. That's the, the ladder. Yep. There's the ladder, but it's still three. It's three in this one, two in the other two, three on the in the courtyard. I thought it was oh, yeah. three, three, two. Yeah, three in the courtyard. A cook, a sheriff, or a warden. Two yeah. people in the jail cells that seem to be arguing with each other, and what we believe to be a dragon. Okay. Some kind of it's just small, a dragon. A dragon. creature. Could just be a lizard, for all we know. But, um. A dragon. I think we had talked also about potentially doing a second scouting thing to try to find to the key. To find the key, that yes. was a that was a, a point that I wanted to see if we could make, if we thought it was going to waste too much of Elafi's power or not. Because if we're going yeah. to dig through this today, thing... If we don't today, it wouldn't waste my power, because as long as I get a long rest, we're good. So, okay. what, I w what I was going to mention um, was Th Thrag was invisible. Yes. Ooh, Dustin how many how many turn. how many people can you make invisible? Just one. Just one. Okay, crap. Because I was gonna say like, like sheer statistics. How much damage do you think one that guard can take if somehow we all got down there and uh, you know started smack mm, we, smacking him? We. I well, mean, the problem is this guard. If we just attack that guard, alerts everyone. Right. And we're in a bad spot. I don't like fighting in the middle the most. It feels like the most close to everything else. Yeah. I know like, we'll build things point, will still like everything do comes this. out from all the towers and just and lights just, you up with arrows. <laughs> yeah, they're just yeah. on these battlements just shooting us to death. Yeah. Just taking forty arrow shots every round. Cause they attack twice, so it's rough. Yeah, so if we go to drag though. Talked about it is true. Potentially trying it's to look on the us. at the warden f person for the key. That's made sense to me in my head, but it honestly could be one of like I think Dustin said it could be one of these guys, which is also just as valid. It could be the cook. Like really, we don't know. It could be the guy next right. to the thing. We didn't get to pickpocket him. He brushed away a bug out of his pants. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, I did. I did fail that perception <laughs> check, and I did fail that sleight of hand check. 
we really have no clue where the key is we can lean into like stereotypes of where the you know it's on the warden you know that makes right, sense right. but we're de- at that point we're depending on the meta of a of a Watlick writer <laughs> or not Watlick Wizards of the Coast <laughs> I mean it, w- it, it would make sense to me that the guy guarding the gate would have the key like I could I could or I could it's see the work. commander but it's, it's like those two are very likely or the draconic guys just because they're like uh, they're like sergeants or something like elites in my head it's like the uh, captain reinforcements have arrived all right let me walk down from my keep and walk all the way to the door to unlock the gate so you can open it that's logical <laughs> i mean it's i mean if you're the commander goes both like ways. anyone yeah Anyone who's opening it or whatever. Like, it would be logical for the guard to have the key, but it also would be logical for the warden to have the key. Or a officer, a higher officer. We really just don't know until we know. If there's still time in the day, Alex says Alafi has the power to, to, to go this day and then get powers back tomorrow morning. I'm I'm down for the, for the risk. Don't get caught. Yeah. Or we just... Assault. Or we'd go with our assault plan and then probably find the key anyway. The only point of finding the key and knowing where it is would be changing our plan to go to still put the guys to sleep to lessen the numbers, but to at least go where the key is and get the door open. But that the, is if we want the army to help us or not, or if we want to just take this fort on alone. We could also potentially hit and run. That's the thing. If we find the key, hit and run is probably our best scenario. Or, but... or even like do our silence the the middle part plan. Mm-hmm. Kill those two bad draconians. Go into that room. Remove all the weapons from the room. And just and then slaughter. kill all those guys. <laughs> I feel like a moral thing might come into place. Yeah, yeah they're up, maybe. <laughs> Like that might become a little we brutal. Get them to chase us as well. This an option. I would like to try to lure them out of the keep. Like if we can, if we can, like hang them by a rope upside down in the battlements or some shit. That's fine with me. I don't care about that. <laughs> Incapacitating them seems fine. Josephine isn't like lawful good. Don't kill anyone. I didn't build her quite like that, uh, but I think if someone was defenseless, she wouldn't be like, Ooh, yeah, probably not. Wouldn't participate, but probably wouldn't do anything about anybody else doing something. Plus, they were psycho. Or see how many manacles we have between. Manacles the whole would army. be good, like manacle their feet <laughs> while they're sleeping. Yeah. They can still feel. That would still be probably sight of hands. Yeah. yeah. We have to medical them together and right. then medical their feet to a bed. Right. And then they can't go anywhere. <laughs> right. Getting them to surrender would be ideal, but. Yeah. I mean, I think Josephine's up for any plan. As long as it's law. As long as it is logical. Well, do we want to do the scouting mission then? I like security. That's my vote. As long as Alafi is willing to take the continued risk, of course. Question is, do we where for me to look that won't get me super caught? Well, you were a mouse last time, right? Yeah. I feel like that's your mouse best gets cover. Stepped on. Mm, it's true. <laughs> Keep to the corners and no one will likely see you. Strange question. Anybody have poison that could affect a giant draconic thing? Like a poison vial? Or spell? Is that what you mean? Let me see. If the thing is sort of feasting on the horses. I'm very good at getting rid of poison. <laughs> I'm, I'm Not okay so good at, at applying causing it. like short term poison. 
I'm good at causing short-term memory loss. <laughs> Seems like another thing that a thief would be. <laughs> well, we don't have one, unfortunately. Yes. Okay. So if that was the case, I can... Uh, I believe... Yes, I still have a spell slot to cast fly to give you that I think last time it was fly and then invisibility and then I think it's wild fly shape. and pass without a trace was my old fly and pass without a trace were the two we went for which were really good right right but fly with invisibility also seems pretty solid fly with invisibility also is pretty solid yeah considering like you could potentially not touch anything and would end up like not making any noise. That's true. <laughs> Other than if you go too fast, a small. <laughs> you have to rem you have to remember though that invisibility doesn't mean hide. Those are two different things. Hide <laughs> and invisibility, completely different things. So you still can be heard unless you're hiding, and you you would probably stealth still be stuff, asked yeah. for stealth checks. But you'd still get advantage on. You would get advantage, but I I feel like plus ten is plus always 10 is stronger than advantage. than advantage. That's fair. Yeah. Plus ten does feel pretty good. Yep. I think advantage is equivalent to like a seven or it's something. It's like a it's if like it's a little it's above a five. Yeah. I know the video that yeah, went yeah. into that. <laughs> Such nerd talk going on. Um, <laughs> well, I do the laugh really quick. It's a six point seven five. <laughs> <laughs> Too silly. So whatever you want to do, I can cast fly on you, and you can do your thing. I believe the... why there was the decision between the rat and the uh... dark vision. The f dark vision and the ferret oh. was a better stealth check. Okay, it's daytime though right now. Right. So yes. I'm gonna be a weasel, sort of the extra weasel stealth. <laughs> yeah. Extra points. Your chances increased at least thirteen percent. <laughs> <laughs> Got me. Uh. Yeah. All right. Like cast fly. Just done. All right. So we are going to jump to the edge of the wood line by wheel watch post that's where we're going to do the fly spell yes yeah, yeah, yeah. all right get the ultimate that's time fair. out of it <laughs> so in that case please give me a stealth check for the party can y'all can we have um that's what a trace lasts for a really long time so we're doing that let's pass yeah, <laughs> let's pass that trace okay. a little early i'm into that <laughs> Oh, I thought you were there. saying, can we pass, like, can we not make that check? Can we can just... We, <laughs> yeah, yeah, God, that's cool, right? Can we literally pass without a trace? <laughs> right, can we pass that? No, oh my forward. God, I'm so bad. Ah, there's my stealth check, guys. <laughs> Joy. My heavy armor is rough. Yeah. I suppose I should roll this as well. Yeah, it's... whenever you're not in danger, feel free to to roll. What? Sorry, let me just twenty-four. Keep your dad as plus ten, so that's a oh, I did. So, our party manages to sneak up to the wood line outside of Wheel Watch Outpost, about 80 feet away from the walls, and we've cast Fly on our weasel, Alafi. And now you can fly. 
Oh, now there's the weasel me. rocket shooting across the uh. See, I, I can't help but imagine the tail like a little propeller just like <laughs> running little circles. <laughs> now you really can't be seen because a weasel will be very much out of the or I feel like that would be out of the ordinary. <laughs> Well, everybody else is going to maintain position at the wood line, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I will need the Laffy to make their own stealth checks now. <clears throat> now, uh, where are you heading first? Um, it's the Laffy Weasel Show. Do you think we should go for? I'm trying to think. Should I go for him first, or should I go for? Wait, this like, is this his is, this seems is, like the the iffiest key. This is very important. Does the does the ferret have like little horns, like <laughs> Laffy does? Little horns. I feel like little, that's a, that's an even bigger giveaway for okay. cosmetic fun. No, Do it. This is stealth. <laughs> So, yeah, horns and hooves. Horns no. and hooves. <laughs> Rule of cool. Who cares? <laughs> like, catch it. You're already a weasel, man. <laughs> Might as well be cool looking. Yeah. Um, Alright, so, uh, stealth check. Is it roll? Let me see. There it goes. Um, so, oh my I'm thinking... God! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to go to another plane of existence? <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to, I I need to check. Our, our yeah, yeah, see like those passives really quick. <laughs> oh, around. Mm. The, uh, so can... That perception That's might be nine. plus nine. Pointers. Okay. Good thing ability checks aren't automatic success. <laughs> right? That's <laughs> true. So. Stealth has been rolled. You are careening high through the <laughs> high through the sky as a weasel, <laughs> um, <laughs> which is just the funniest thing to imagine. Um, and yeah, you've got your eyes on the fortress. You can see that there are three guards posted in the courtyard, similar to how they were last night. And you intermittently see patrols walking along the walls. All right. Um, I think if it why won't it let me use the arrow? Come on. There it goes. Do it. It's going on our end. I going on mine. So I'm gonna close yeah. this and then reopen it. Steam was showing that you uh, had just logged into it, so it might be lagging a little bit. Uh, uh, okay. Theater there we of go. Mind. I'm going to go in that window. Okay. okay. There's me. So, I'm going to sneak in and look both directions to make sure that there isn't a Baz Draconian looking at this window. At the moment, no, there is not. But you are sharing the room with the Baz Draconian. Yeah. Um... He looks out one of the arrow uh... slits and then takes one of his hands it slides up around to his rear and he scratches his ass. Mm. <laughs> That's called realism. <laughs> Alright, I am going to cross to this door, I guess. Okay. They are not designed to be airtight, so you can easily slip underneath it. Weasels can and, get uh, anything. <laughs> yeah. They go flat They're like cats, paper. but smaller. Right. It's almost like they have a saying <laughs> for that. Any space. <laughs> Weaseling your way. Weaseling your way, it's true. I didn't even think about that. Well, you do find yourself in what appears to be a bunk space. There are the double-decker bunk beds. Is there anyone beds. awake in this bunk space? No, this, everybody in here is asleep. Oh, and by uh, everybody, is there I any, do like, mean 
eight chests soldiers. or yes, tables there is a or anything like that in here. Yes, there are chests at the feet of every bed. Okay. I steal one guy's like favorite belongings. I put them in the other guys, and I swip swap. Mm -hmm. Chaos. Oh my god. <laughs> Just, you stole uh, my <laughs> my butterfinger. So, uh, I am going to do a. I've got ten minutes, right? Yeah, for flying. For at least. fly. Um, double checking. You have ten minutes. Yes. I would say you've All probably right. burned a minute just to get to here. Okay. I'm going to quickly. This just seems like one of the places they could be. I'm going to quickly ch check for spare key. I think you might be running out of fly sooner rather than later, but I don't know that you need it too bad. Okay. Oh, I, I can get out without fly, right. which is fine. Oh, my internet is freaking out, though, I think, because Ed just paused on me. Oh, I'm still going. I can hear you okay. Okay. Right. Are rolling those publicly, FYI. Yeah, I'm testing what spaces it's letting me roll in, and it's just the just the dot for whatever reason. I have to check my settings. <laughs> Can always bust out the physical if it's ever not working. Don't tempt me. I mean, you are the DM. You got it. I'll do it. I'll screen. I'll freaking do it. Well, you make your way over to the first chest under the bed closest to your character on the north facing right. wall. Uh, but yeah, check check some boxes. Yep, you check the first box, <laughs> and what you see inside it is a okay clean change of clothes and a small purse that looks like it's laden with coins. Don't care about money right now. I'm a weasel. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll work weasel clockwise. Don't need money. I'm living weasel life, man. Chill. Now I've got a flying weasel with a fedora in my head. <laughs> Razzmatazz. Razzmatazz. My weasels. He's got like, like little drums. <laughs> He's a scat man. Hey, man. Do you want to continue searching chests? Yeah, sorry. I, uh, clockwise, I guess, so. Okay. Oh, my arrow suddenly started working there for a second. Uh, yeah, so. Again, that one, and then this one, and so on. Okay. So you search the second chest, middle bed, or middle bunk of the north facing wall, and inside of it, you see the sheath of a rather well cared for blade Ooh. as well as clothes and a coin purse look at the sword what's the sword <laughs> very well cared for um i'm not ignoring Christine. the sword for right now we'll come back for that okay, okay. once we have an army don't forget it <laughs> <laughs> All right, next chest, you open up, you find similar situation. Clothes, a couple spares, what look to be daggers for throwing, mm -hmm. and 10 gold pieces that are just randomly strewn about. We don't trust that guy now. So uh, <laughs> I work my way back across because I think this is going to be my best bet. Okay, so lower right bed of the south facing wall same situation clothes spare cash nothing of note now when you get to the middle chest and you open that up you find a set of common clothes what looks to be roughly 10 GP worth of coinage and then a ring upon which is a singular key. Get that key. <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit. Good thought to go there. It was the ring with, I just heard a ring. With a key. I may have to restart my router. Uh, ah. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just, it's just okay, fair. So I have to figure out how to get a ring, a key ring out of here without alerting everyone. <laughs> yeah, biting. <laughs> okay, I guess I will. How big is the key ring? It is big enough that whether you're biting onto the key or the ring, one of them is going to be dragging on the floor. Okay. What if you bite him right at the I'm going to check the last two. chest and then uh, come back. You're going to what and come back? Check the last chest. I mean, look at the last chest and then then come back for the key. Right? You don't know if the skull of Rahul's in there oh, or whatever. No. Yeah, check them all. <laughs> it might. There might be a skull of Rahul in there. It could be. You never know. You open the final chest and much to your disappointment you find a set of common clothes 10 gold pieces worth of loose change and nothing else of note jacob you were wrong <laughs> okay there so, could have uh, been I guess I what. <laughs> and i uh crawl into the key ring as a ferret and then lift straight up because i'm still flying you gotta crawl into the ring and then bite the key, and then you've you've got it all yeah. kind of like situated <laughs> around you, and then you just fly around. I mean, I guess you are a ferret. You could literally turn yourself into a U and just hover you around. Could. <laughs> you could just be a flying ferret horseshoe. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so, so, so. The bad draconians don't know what to make of it. Oh, I wish I. I could draw like you guys. What did what did you do in D and D today? Well, I was a ferret horseshoe. Like you shaped ferret. <laughs> a right, in a key in a fedora. What? <laughs> I guess I had into a courtyard through an arrow slit. Well, trying to not make as make as little noise as I can with as a flying ferret with a key. That makes sense. Uh, so as and, you enter. Uh, Okay, go on. Oh, as you enter the courtyard space, I will need a new stealth check for you. Okay. Let me add my modifier. There we go. That's the lowest I could roll. Oh, now Oof. I have to do work and actually pay attention to things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The question is, where does that key go to? Because there are a couple options. Oh, I was going to drop this key out in the field and then come back. Oh. And then go back for the key. I'm going to keep looking. I just, this could be the key. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, I'm going to run myself out and drop the uh, key somewhere out in the field over towards the party. Okay. But not like run all the way back because I don't think it's worth the time and I need to keep my fly for as long as I can. All right. <laughs> so you can do and that and nothing will stop you or uh, accost you. All right. And then I'm going to come back in the same arrow slit I st Actually, do I want to check the Bastard Draconians or do I want to check the Warden next? Um. I'm going to try to get into a courtyard next and look to see with the warden. And I'm going to remember the general shape of this key, if I can. So you're going to sneak that... into, uh, you said the courtyard, do you mean W6, where you saw the warden uh, last? The, where I saw the warden last, yeah. We don't have okay. numbers on ours. Ah, right. So, yeah, the prison building. Yeah. <clears throat> Another stealth check, I'm guessing. Mm, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I could just keep that 16. <laughs> <laughs> what um, do you mean? 
Yeah, give me a new stealth check. Situations have changed. He's dropped the key. <laughs> <laughs> the clanker's gone. All right. right. So, sliding under the door, you see that the room is empty of the individual you are looking for. Its two prisoners are still present. Uh, uh, it's the Kender still constantly harassing the guy. The Kender does appear to be napping. Oh, okay. The other individual is still awake, and he's tossing pebbles through the bars of his cell at the opposite wall. Are either of them looking at the desk? Or is he looking at the desk? No. Alright, I'm going to, uh, Crawl up on the desk and look for a key on the desk. Okay, yeah, you crawl up onto the desk, and besides an inkwell, pen, various writing supplies, and sheets of paper, you don't see a key. Alright, so there's... Alright, how much time do I still have left on the fly? I would say, by your best estimates, you probably have about four minutes left. Okay. Then I am going to leave here and next somebody checks the bad draconians. Or from, a, from as much of a distance as I can, though. I have to look to see if they have a key carried on their body. Okay. Give me a stealth check. Roll big, roll big. Weasel roll. Weasel roll. <laughs> All right. So you're able to lazily drift in through the arrow slits, avoid being visually spotted, and can identify no clear indicator of a key ring on either of them. Okay. Then I'm going to weasel my way under this door, <laughs> literally, um, the that door, um, and blink down and see if the guy guarding the gate mechanism is just carrying a key and if uh, Thrag is in blind. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. It sounds like you're uh, you're focusing on this one. So give me a perception check. Persuasion perception. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you look at his person, inspecting his armor, the folds in his clothes, and his belt. You don't see any indicator of a ring that could carry keys. And there are still three three in the courtyard? Yes. I'm going to very rapidly do a check of each tower again to make sure there's, there's still the same number of people in this place. Minus wherever the leader is. I should figure that out too. Alright. You check the towers and you see that the people manning them are in the same number as they were at night when you were here last. But after that, I will say you know you have very little time before your fly uh, fades off of you. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna check the stables and go out under a gate, I guess. <laughs> okay. Not a bad plan. <laughs> Can you... Describe to me uh, more clearly what check the stables entails. Uh, These sliding guys. a little bit under the door of the stables and look for a dragon. See if you can see him now. <laughs> see if he's not in Disney profile view on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spooky bag. All right. So, yeah, you peer into the stables. And you can see a large winged beast that is currently eating horses. 
That's there's a lot of no, gore. There's nothing else here. And I never, I did spot the captain though. Did you get a color on the dragon, or are you color blind as a oh. weasel? I think weasels can see colors. Because then that maybe prepares for the type of owie, owie bobowie. I, I, if you had dark vision, I would say you can't, but you don't. So let's assume weasels can see color. Mm -hmm. It it is red. <sighs> okay. I don't want this. Don't let this trick you. I think Fizban made it so that red can do other things. It could be lightning. <laughs> it could be acid. It could be acid. It could be a blood dragon. It could Actually. just like barf rainbows. <laughs> It could also be my friend. He could be your best friend. <laughs> could be an ally. Alright, so I don't. Never saw the captain, though, today, huh? Mm, wasn't here. Nope, Probably you in have a not, tower? You have not spied him. Getting yummies? This is what. The guy sleeping in the bed. Could have been. It's this sleep. is what you see. Oh. All the armor. Okay. That is so rad. Dragon. Look at that art, man. Actual dragon. <laughs> Actual real life dragon, not a machine filled with goblins. Okay. So um <laughs> I guess so, so that is a young adult dragon, basically. That's a that's a bold claim, sir. What is even more bold of a claim is to refer to it as a dragon at all, because the dragons have been absent from this world for a considerable time. Could be something oh, else. It's could a be... lizard with wings. Could be a wyvern. Could be a lot of things. Could be a freak of nature. Could be Laffy's friend. We did mention that. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaning on that uh, one. Yeah, uh... I Listen, guess yes, I'll scaled. see yes, if I can red check scales. to see if the cook is in there and see if the captain is just eating in the shed, cook shed. He's got to sleep, too. I like, I, you know, Jacob said he could be, could have been at yeah. a top bunk, couldn't have seen him. For the stables, your fly is definitely yeah. done. Yeah, you're going to have to crawl under a door. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Give me a new stealth check. Unfortunately for you, the flying weasel was the one that was normal. Now they'll be suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Holy Apparently crap. Apparently when you're not flying, you're real, way stealthier. <laughs> it's just gone. I do not exist. Alright, so you slink your way through the courtyard over to <clears throat> what apparently is the cook hut and as you're approaching the door you can hear two individuals arguing with one another there he is uh, I listen now you listen and it sounds like a superior officer who is berating his chef over how terrible the food has been and to up his game and the other individual is complaining about a lack of supplies and how you can't make a delicious feast out of potatoes and salt. You got this big beast know, eating all the horse, you know? Like, damn. This cook just doesn't sound like he knows what he's doing. No, he's never made french fries right. in his life. Obviously. Oh, uh, <laughs> Could have been so I many see... things. A key on a belt or anything on the grumpy uh either of the grumpy people? <laughs> you can you can easily enough see that the officer's belt does bear a key ring. Ah, it was in two places. Does it look like the Who same does? key? It does look similar. I don't think I can get a key off of the officer's belt. Just remember that they're low on supplies, and I'm sure Ferret 
Harf Weasel probably tastes better than whatever they're having. Yeah. Um, Don't stay too long. <laughs> so I have two hours on that in an out, and I guess I've got like an hour and ten, uh, hour and fifty minutes of that, and fifty minutes of past that I trace still. So. <laughs> True. Um. You are okay, still so I've, I have seen everyone. Everyone is still here. There is definitely a dragon-shaped thing. Um, Some kind of draconic ancestry thing. Uh, I guess I'm going to sneak out and grab my key and continue back to the party. And hope. Okay. There's no way I'm getting a key off of the officer. All right, you're making your way out of the fortress to go retrieve the key. Please give me one more stealth check. Hmm. Someone might be able to roll a 16. <laughs> Probably not 29. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesus. And you barely make it. <laughs> <laughs> so. With that wonderful roll, you slink your way under the gate and out into the field beyond. You retrieve the key that you left in the field and return to your companions. Found a key. I don't know if it's the right key. Oh, but it's a key. Excellent. <laughs> Good job. Oh, you are resourceful, Alafi. Well, you discovered. No. Yes. But there is another key in there. Mm. I can't tell if there's a key. There are two gates. There's also two jail cells. It's also true. Mm. They also have terrible food. Damn you, Frixis. Why did you have to... Why did you have to say that? You've put doubt into my mind. It just means we have a 50% chance and we know where the other one is. Hmm. On the captain. Well, seems like we got the information that we wanted. We're a lot better suited to get that army inside that fort. Anything else from the... One guy takes way better care of his stuff than everyone else. Ooh, which one? Uh, I refer to him as Individual 4. Individual 4. <laughs> You'll have to point them out. I think you'll be able to tell. You know, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> they will be spared. Did you get a better look at the um, creature in the daylight? Oh, it it's dragon-shaped and reddish. So we are dealing with a dragon. Dragon-shaped. Or oh, something like hey. it. Dangerous, nonetheless, if it was... Not as big as the myths say. Mm. The, the thing was like horse size, right? It was, it was, yeah, just a little bit bigger than a horse. It is concerning. Whatever it is, it's dangerous. And we should be quite wary of it. Well, Alafi, this was absolutely, perfectly productive. I thank you and commend you for your service. We should act quickly. They might realize the key is gone. Well, huh. maybe it will cause some chaos. We do have to wait until tomorrow to strike. Yeah. By first light. <coughs> I am so sorry, guys. Uh, thought oh. I was muted for that cough. You're okay. Yeah, I just have a really bad cough. I said, you're okay. <laughs> okay. So... We can, um... At least report back to the rest of our forces that... We have a 50% chance of having the door open if we do our same plan as before 
but we may want to also raid that sleeping chamber area like we discussed earlier. I think it's a good idea. Give our army a fighting chance. These are not seasoned veterans that we're dealing with. I think we all can see that. We'll infiltrate, deconstruct, and allow our army to come in and deliver the final blow. The dragon will have to be dealt with by us. If you recall, Raven did make it quite clear that her soldiers were not ready for such a beast. Indeed. We should silence that room, deal with the draconian guards, make our way to that dragon. I think that's our best path and on our way to the dragon we can open a gate we'll probably have to deal with the ones in the courtyard hmm maybe we wait once the army arrives we should go for the dragon at that point the element of surprise will be gone i do not want to bring the entire fort down on us it would be good if we can to still open the gate before, but that was rather resource intensive. It's true. Now that we know we're dealing with an actual dragon, it may hmm. be good to conserve a couple of those resources if possible. This I is can still use the rope trick to get us over the wall or into a space or mm. feather mm. fall I can disguise myself all of those I can do without expending mm. spell slots excellent I will still of course silence that chamber that will be one of my spell slots that makes sense are we all on the same page, then? I believe so. The only thing I'm unclear on is when do we attempt to open the gate during this plan? Mm, I say we feel it out. If after we deal with the, the fort, it seems like a proper time, that is when. If not, perhaps we alert others maybe not quite yet i think we will know our moment and we will take it when it arrives instinct and she'll slap uh uh Frixis on the back <laughs> instinct i've done a few things on that sounds like a plan enough to me indeed Keep simple well, I think that's enough planning for me today. Enough talking as well. And I'm sure Alafi is quite tired from your venture. You're not hurt at all, are you? I'd never even suspected a thing. Ah, that's what I'd like to hear. Well, I'm going to my tent then. Mother be with you. She just gives whatever symbol <laughs> thing and then she, she walks <laughs> off. <laughs> So it sounds like our party's returning to the forward camp? Yeah. So oh, I was assuming this conversation was already there. I'll say that when I get to the camp. <laughs> yeah, the, uh... <laughs> the mother thing is a little bit funnier this week than it was last time. <laughs> yeah, it is. That it is. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So who is updating Raven on the plan? Josephine will. Okay. So you meet with Raven in her command tent, and uh, what do you tell her your group is planning to do? Oh, we want to roleplay that out? Or at least tell me what she is being told, so I don't presume. Sure. Um, the plan... Um, I won't, I'll just, I'll just speak it from, from Ed's point of view, and you guys can correct me if you think I miss anything. We are going to arrive under cover of stealth in, at daybreak. We will scale the wall, get inside, destabilize a portion of the guard, 
open the gate, at which point the army hopefully will be within range to see the gate, or will give them a certain amount of time. One of those two things. Uh, maybe they have a forward scout with us that can go back once they see the gate open. That seems good. Uh, and then at which point the army will approach. Upon their approach, our strike team will face the dragon while the rest of the army handles those on the outer walls. We will be sure to protect the gate, and I think we should prefer and lean towards the gate furthest away from to the, the southern gate, as it is close enough to the dragon that we can both protect that gate and deal with the dragon. All right. Now, you mentioned uh, performing this action at daybreak. It is already morning. So is this happening on this day, or...? This is happening tomorrow. Tomorrow. Our strike team is not at full force, and we are dealing with the dragon. If we wish to risk, then we will. It is based on the timeline of this army. If there is a strict amount of time, we will go now. But our chances will be significantly lessened. I don't know. How much did Josephine get drained by yesterday? I have... I am down one second level spell slot already. I will be down a, another one if I silence again. I will be now, left with four first and two, one third. Oh no, I'm missing a third as well. I am missing quite a bit. Did everybody get their full rest from when you returned to camp last night? We figured this, this was, was going to be the time. same day as that uh, yeah. failed attempt that we had happened. Because like, we wouldn't want to do that on the... Yeah, if we I, had I still had time. a slot to do everything that same day, Ow. so that was the idea. Yeah. Unless that was not in our timeline, at which point we're spending more time. Hmm. I see. Yeah, the, the idea was we we showed up, we tried to unlock the gate, that failed, we ran away, and then that same day I went back to go look and figure out what's going on. We are hoping to game the long rest system! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's give you a long rest in this, this situation. If you haven't taken the time to long rest, that definitely presents a problem. Uh, Raven will point out that she's already delayed. If we're sleeping through this day, and not attacking until the next morning. That's significantly past their timetable for when they were supposed to attack. She will she will reiterate that they know that the force that took this place is not the one holding it. And the longer they delay this action, the greater the risk of whatever force is currently out there discovering their camp. And they would get massacred in an open battle okay so Just, they, yeah go ahead um and also they don't know why they're holding it command fears that the reason why they're holding it is they're expecting troop movements to come through so they don't want to push any more time forward or it might even become harder to take or impossible to take uh, Josephine knows this is her first command, so Josephine will remind her that she is the leader here. Her word is law to her troops, and we are her troops. And that if she wants us to go now, we will go now. But she should know that we are significantly less than we would be. And if she is okay with that, then we will go. I think that's what Josephine would, would make clear. If I can do an hour rest, I get my spell slots back at least. So I'm sure we can I get would at least, at least that, request but, that. Yeah. <laughs> as long as well, stuff is done today, I'm sure she's fine. Raven will scratch her head and say, "Although I do appreciate the thought, you do actually outrank me." So, are you not the uh, commanding officer here? I am, but I'm the ranking officer of the troops assembled. If I remember correctly from what Derek told me, your special ranking puts you above me. Ah. Well, in the ranking of the army, I command you in this scenario, but of course I am a logical being. 
You are the commanding officer of these men. You know the timetable. If you believe our best option is to strike now, then strike now. We shall. Is that your order? She'll look down at the table where a map of the outpost is arrayed upon it and look back. I don't feel comfortable delaying another eight hours. All right. And may the mother be with us. We will be ready to move in an hour. She nods. Josephine bows and leaves the tent and informs the party. We will be moving out today. Unfortunately, we cannot buy any more time. Conserve what magic and power you have. You have an hour. Okay. Mother be with you. And she... I do not have a way to get us over the wall, then. You do not. My rope trick that I already used today is a once per day. Hmm. You Sounds like... Your other spells probably have, just as like a player to player. I have two spell slots, so... Okay. I, that seems like it would not be the best use of it for going against a dragon, hmm. but... I can request a ladder. Perhaps one has been brought. We are attacking a fortress. I imagine there is some level of siege. Equipment here, I hope. If not, it sounds like we're scaling a wall. It sounds like I'm taking this armor off. Well, I could potentially still do a fly, take the rope that we do have and secure it to the wall so that we can climb up to that small balcony. Do we have any other options? The lightest among us scales the wall, opens the gate. I am technically the smallest. The gate can't be opened without individuals being slain within. Yes, our lack of magic does become a problem for us to infiltrate. I may have to inform Raven that unless there is a ladder, and even if in we the have case a ladder that there or is, a rope, we can probably make it work. The rope is much worse. I may have to leave the armor behind. Same with you, Frixus. It will be too far oh. too loud. We have the knotted rope. It's still armor slamming against... Well, perhaps not. Let's try the knotted rope. I'll ask Pretty for... I'll ask place for your a... feet on the wall. Use your arms a bit. I will ask for a ladder. <laughs> if this is the case, I believe we should enter from a different portion of the... Uh, of the fort. I believe here is a much better location. We will enter the same area, be close to the same stuff, but I feel as though we'll be under just a little bit more cover within the shadow of the fortress. Uh, are you saying the right side? Do you see my arrow? Yeah. She points a stick on the map. Here. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing there... Would be there's occasional patrols along that wall as well as three in the courtyard there are patrols but in the area that we entered if you remember there were draconians making their way back and forth there are patrols everywhere this is a very tight situation i simply think of it'd be better that we don't enter from a main road with a full ladder yes a flank would be best same with the rope situation Can you claim any other problems with this side? Mm. I feel as though it gives us access to everything we wanted, including a set of stairs, to descend down into the courtyard should we need to quickly. That's true. That's something we don't have uh, where we were entering before. Indeed, I believe this is the pivotal weakness of this entire operation right here. 
gives us access to the fort, the sleeping individuals, the stairs. Uh, Hell, even the gate. The only thing that might be a problem there is I don't think we could get in that door and cast silence on the room prior to engaging the Bastrakonians. I feel as though we'll have a similar problem with the other door. If I recall, there's one on either side, patrolling the halls up and down. True. The Draconian will have to be dealt with swiftly. Or... <sighs> I would have to stealthily enter, which I don't think I can manage. He'll have to be dealt with swiftly. I'm going to go ask for a ladder, since I don't hear any other debate on the subject. Ladder seems good. I asked Raven about a ladder. No. Well, I... We have been constructing ladders, so you do have access to them. We could use one. It would help us it get inside. Given. Good. Mother be with you? And she leaves. Oh, I'm back. We have a ladder. I feel like that's going to be much more difficult to approach with, but... I feel as though everything is going to be difficult to approach with at this point, whether someone is trying to climb up a sheer wall or otherwise. That's fair. All right, well, you have your hour. And then we are off. What people like to do during their hour? Fritzis is going to take a short rest. I didn't lose any HP. I don't think short rest is going to give me much of anything. Let me look. I didn't spend anything. Yeah, I didn't spend my hidden step. You used aid. How long does that last? Aid lasts eight hours. When did so I use it? Have that. Yeah, what's the time left on aid? Aid's time left? Probably like six hours. Okay. So that's the three nice. of you with an extra 10 HP. That was my third yep. level slot. Yep, yep, yep. But the nice thing is, I am going to take a short rest because Wild Shape is a short rest. Oh. <laughs> that is very good. And it'll mean that I can be something besides a uh, deer trying to climb the ladder. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. Thrag, Thrag will just mentally prepare himself. He'll sharpen his axe. Our party will take their rest and feel ready and rejuvenated, or at least as ready as they can be for the task ahead. Raven will see you off and deliver a letter. Okay, well, I use my last level two spell to get us up close. Wait, <laughs> a, a letter? Ladder. Ladder. Oh, okay. It was like... Alright. So our party will sneak back to that tree line on the eastern face of the fortress this time. Keeping my armor. Roger that. Casting Pass Without Trace. Yep. That's my last little two spell for the day. <laughs> nice. Alright. In that case, can I please get a stealth roll from the party as we burst out of the tree line nice. with a 20-foot ladder in tow? We said we have Pass Without a Trace. Disadvantage. Yep. I may use a magical balance here. We will see. I will use magical balance and treat that as a 10 instead of a 6. 
points. All right. Is my adept of the red robes ability. So yes, twenty-two. I can't remember that I have my adept of the black robes ability, which is the oh shit nuke. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to have cast disguise self to put myself in uh, essentially their armor. Uh, All right. Just until we get up to the wall, at least. Excellent. So, <clears throat> our party makes it to the wall. Your back's slamming against the hard stone. You hear no alarm call and no shouting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slamming? Gentle. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> gently pressing yourselves with you know uh having rushed across the field as squarely against that wall as you can without making any noise perhaps magically muffled by the pass without a trace spell but you're right no slamming the ladder goes up i presume yeah gingerly placing itself between the crenellations upon the wall. And who is ascending first? I'll go first. Okay. I will I will definitely go second. Alright. So feel free to place yourselves in marching order on the wall. Um, so I, I from do not north have to south. Off. From north to south. I'm actually stuck inside of a door. Can... <laughs> I'm exactly where I need to be. One second, I'm trying to find... I don't have the, the castle open. I believe this is it. Wheel watch. Why did my module... My game just crashed. I'll be back in a second. Oof. I did. I did also have a pretty huge hiccup there for a minute, so that might be related. Like it, it full crashed. Like there was even like an error code. Crash. So. It's fine. All right. The question is, what do I turn into to go up a ladder? Uh, Kyle, could you could you load could you load the map up for me again? Sure. It is in your, uh, you know, maps. I think it's under. I, there is actually. I just climb slower. I can't actually climb the ladder. Looking at it, the the rules. So. Can you wild shape images. once you're up there? Uh, like walk up there and then wild shape. Yeah, no, do that. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, yeah, your form, your current form is kind of difficult. I forgot. Yeah, I climb slightly slower. Mm. Is the what? That's okay. Yeah, we're going. Slow. We're going stealthy, right? You can yeah. still manage it, though. <laughs> there we go. All right, so one after another, everyone is able to make it up the wall. You have not been spotted yet. No patrols have left the towers to make their rounds on the walls yet, though Alafi would know that that window of opportunity is relatively fleeting. Uh, do we want me to lead this, guys, or does somebody else want to go first? How do we want to do this? I can be the first one through everything if nobody else wants the responsibility. Um, I would say having you be the first one through just to silence and let everybody else through at that point. Mm. Uh, the, my silencing point for catching everyone in that room is I need to actually be in that room to do so. Because it oh. is like a fireball size, so it's going four squares in every direction from a single point. 
and looking at the size of that room, if I were to silence just stepping into here, I would be missing the last square of the room. So I would get. And you, so if you silence that, I would the get door. all of heat here. If I if I walk through this door here and silenced as close to this as possible, since we're likely dealing with a draconian, yeah, somewhere in this hall and probably initiative. If I went right to this door and went for a silence. Like, because I can only do where I see. At this point, right. I would only go four squares into this room, and these guys in the back would be awake, which is four individuals. Or oh, a couple individuals. Okay. I don't know how many individuals, but... Can you see, and had it can you see through the arrow slit at all? The arrow slits here? Yeah. Um, I could try, but I think to get the right angle, it would be interesting... Um, Dungeon Master, what are my what is my potential to cast a a nice silence through an arrow slit over here? How <laughs> how are my chances on that? You just have to hit the square that the bed is in. So if you can see the bed, that's the whole room. If I can see, yeah, if I could see this bed, if I could just see in here, yeah, could I pre-cast my spell? Yeah, I I feel like with you on the wall you would have the angle you would need to see in the room i do it okay i spend the spell slot i cast silence let me get my square so we know where it is <laughs> it's important all right so into the room uh, okay it's so. especially important because it's gonna extend out of the room a little bit uh this is what we're looking at but let me i don't want that guard let's go a little just bit a, further into the room just to double check is it stopped by walls or does it go through walls um oh that's an interesting notion let's see what the rules say it doesn't say which it uh yeah within or pass through yep for the duration, no sound can be created within or... Oh, no, it says no sound can be created within or pass through a 20-foot radius sphere centered on a point you choose within range. There are no details on whether or not it goes through a wall, so in my opinion, that is up to the dungeon master to decide if it goes through walls or not. Yeah, no, why not? We'll, we'll say that that block in its entirety is silent. What if it was just the room? <laughs> oh, man, you want to do that? All right. I'll take both, but uh, you know, I mean, one it, is obviously it probably, better. It probably would be better if it was just the room. That would be cool. It's also a sphere. It is, but spheres are squares, and in, in if we're if we're doing a grid, spheres are squares. Unless <laughs> it's not, that's up to the dungeon master. Well, all these squares do make a circle. Perfect. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll say I, my initial take was that the walls would stop it. I like that. Um, I like that take because it works out for us right now. When it doesn't, let's flip the take. <laughs> 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 oh no, it works like this canonically forever now. God damn it! I've sat. We've sacrificed something way in the future, guys. It's not good. <laughs> All right. All right. Um. And we want to take out this stun, this fort to the front. Yes. Yeah, I believe so. I think the, um, taking out the fort is good because taking out the fort means that anyone that has to that tries to go wake up the silenced room has to go through us. Sure. Also, tabletop or table talk, okay, Kyle? Or do you want us to just go off this plan and start making moves? Well, I would say table talk, totally fine. Cool. It could easily be something you discussed on your way here. Sort of it represents... could be hushed whispers in a quick moment. Yeah, it's fine. Represents expertise. Yeah, it could be any of those. Cool. Yeah. So we did we say we did want to go through here and take out the Draconians first? Yeah, because then we don't have to worry about the no. anyone being behind us besides the silenced people. Uh, slip in this door open as quietly um, as I can. If I might go first, then. That would be you going first. I am not <laughs> here. It's my boy, Frixus. Because currently I am 
in their armor. Yeah, that's true. Good call. Um, so I could. I'm gonna be the first one to walk in. Am I concentrating? And. I am. While, uh. I walking in, I'll do, like, the look at the bad draconian and give a nod and start walking towards the door while i'm uh towards the like bedroom door uh as just uh buy a little bit of time for him looking at me rather than my friends also coming through the door behind me <laughs> type of a thing um that's my intent so okay so yeah you will open the door and make your way into the room as you take your first 10 steps through the space you see that the Baz Draconian does tilt its head see you out of the corner of its eye but notes you are wearing their armor and doesn't think to look at you any further turning his attention back out of the arrow slit to scan the horizon once again oh, I do have one thing I want to do pre-initiative uh, I want to cast my star shape arrow thing, so I have it prepared. All right. I forgot to say I was doing armor, but I got this earlier. I will have to do that mid all this. I'm already concentrating on something, and aid uh, aid was already cast, so I'm pretty preset. Oh, Frixis, you're in the room. Okay. Um, <laughs> with them having done that, he'll like step to here if they continue looking out the thing, and then he'll wave everybody to enter the room after him. <laughs> Getting in here. And then, uh, whenever he turns around, it's time. Okay. As Alafi makes her way into the room, you feel the Bazraconian getting just a little bit itchy with you loitering around behind him. He'll turn to look at you more clearly, and that's when he'll see everyone, and I need initiative. <laughs> Am I targeting somebody? Is that what's going on? Um, you can look at the combat tracker to see you were targeting oh, me. And targeting you. How dare you target me? I think it was Dang it. Deal. Also, I'm, I'm unconscious, prone, and stable. Yeah, <laughs> so all of the uh, the combat tracker is still from when Eldquin died, so oh, I'm shit. still in there as Eldquin. That's the last time we fought. <laughs> Dang it, Frixus. Why can't... You need to be more comfortable by yourself in silence. He was clearly, he was clearly unnerved. You have to loosen your joints. Well, that's because Eldquin's still in the party sheet. Oh, why is that I Eldquin? not? This is not me. So since I'm still okay. in Beyond at the moment, um, you, you might have to put 16 in. I wish I could do it myself. I just, I just now imagine Frixus T posing to establish do dominance wherever he is. That's why he. <laughs> He looked, he looked twice. Oh, 15, I'm 15. That's my ish. Okay, he's in there now. You want me right at the door, or? Uh, uh no, where, where you were when I started okay. talking. Cool. Still waiting on initiatives. I got my 15. Uh, you got to put it in for me. I can't, unfortunately. I would, oh, I would right. otherwise. My entire fantasy grounds is not responding. Like, yeah, it's really laggy, Kyle. Yeah, Kyle, fix it. Yeah, I like it. I thought. Okay, somebody just disappeared. They were right here. And now they're gone. Oh, that was. That was Elf Quinn. Okay. Yeah, that was Elf Quinn. He has old character. I think Thrag um, was no. fourth one in, so you're Thrag, probably just out you the door. weren't in the room yet, so you're still out there, buddy. 
wouldn't I be funneling in all the way? You uh, might be at as, the door. As I said, they were. Everybody was making their way into the room, and after a time that seemed reasonable, the guy looked around and saw that there were people in the room. Well, wouldn't I be um, like right? Wouldn't I be like right here? At... Well, everybody was stacked up, and nobody like you hadn't moved your character so i assume you're just there oh but right. sure if if you want to be over here that's fine all right so i let's still see. need the roll initiative here i'm trying to find no, uh, nobody is very up. good at uh initiative i can tell got the 15 in there Thrag, you. you're gonna roll that initiative yet buddy you know it. If I can get it to work. Oh, Very I, nice. I like it. Okay, Thrag, you are the first to react. What would you like to do? Opens the door awkwardly. Now I know what you're thinking. Um, can you can you grapple and restrain on the same turn if I have multi attack? You're using your attack action to perform grapple, so no, you can't use multi attack to do two actions. I it's think just grapple using... is a is a attack though, like. Oh, it's different. So it's different oh. from restrain. Because I know apparently, if you if you fight a a spellcaster, you can grapple like you can grapple as many like you can grapple up to two creatures. So it's like you could technically grapple both of someone's arms. Do like a double. Well, well is that. is restraining somebody also an attack? Um, for grappling, it says you use the attack action, and your attack re or it replaces one of the attacks if you have multiple attacks. Uh, right. Yeah. And then I think this. I have restraining. Have I think you have to have the feet for. So. No, you can't. You would be able to grapple him, but then you would have just an attack left. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to use a Knight of Solemnia uh, ability. I'm just going to attack this guy straight up. Um, I believe all my stuff is applied. I'm going to alt-click Bass Draconian 1. You can also choose to shove, which is a move that can set someone prone or put them five feet away from you. And it is a skill is contest, and it does count as a single attack action. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll shove him. I'll shove him to the ground. Okay. It's a skill contest. I believe the defender, just like grapple, gets to choose between strength and dex. Yep. But the attacker is always strength. Which, uh, athletics. Yeah. Athletics and then can defend with athletics or acrobatics. Exactly. Okay, and then I'll roll athletics. Is this for the grapple or just the shove? Yeah. Okay, this is for the grapple. Yeah, because you can't shove unless you grapple, I think, is what you have to do. No, you can do. shove. Oh! Without... Yeah, you can totally shove just That's normally. cool. I thought you had to do one first. No, yeah. we, we saw war uh, shoving quite a few people without having to grapple. Right. Well, yeah, that it was part of the shield master feat, but it is the the difference there is you can use it as a bonus action rather than rather taking than an man, attack, yeah. but everything else is the same. So you push the Baz Draconian. He's already caught a little bit flat-footed, seeing an entire party of adventurers appear behind him, and he tumbles back into the wall, slamming on the stone, and then falling flat on his ass. Okay, and so that was my bonus action. No, that's no, one of no, your attack your actions. Oh, okay. So I get I get to attack again with advantage. With advantage because he's prone. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make an attacky on um with my battle axe. That is actually a good move because it means that Frixis can also attack yeah. the prone. It's not a bad <laughs> uh, move at all. It didn't roll my advantage though. You hit anyway. I mean you could just roll and see if you got would have got a crit. Sure. I oh know. yeah, I'm, you have there's something on you that gave you a disadvantage too. It's weird. Is there? Oh, uh, it's because he's unconscious. <laughs> oh, let's make him not oh, unconscious. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm still, I'm still <laughs> unconscious and prone from the. Hey, I was, I, I'm so powerful when prone and unconscious, I can. Shove I can still shove ground. people. Josephine is also <laughs> prone, so I guess I'll. Me? So am I. Oh yeah, yeah, make me know. Uh, you also have archery and attack two range and damage two melee. That's because it's still my old character. <laughs> yeah. Just okay, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna roll that damage now. Okay. Ignore that three, so it's it's twelve damage. Okay. Well, you can still do the radiant thing if you wanted. I'd have to rage, and that's a that's a. Oh, damage. it's a rage. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a rage feature. All right, so you crunch into him with your battle axe. He's on the ground. He hisses and snarls as his blood is spilled across the stone. And what else would you like to do? Uh, I shut the door behind me. All right, you gingerly <laughs> shut the door behind you. <laughs> like, oh, I think Thrag is like in the moment, like, oh, oh, yes. It's rude. Don't leave it open. Don't cause a draft. Born in a barn. Cause a don't cause a draft. We wouldn't want this this Mars draconian to get cold. A knight okay. must always a knight must always be courteous. All right, fix this. <laughs> These are the petrified boys, right? Uh huh. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, prepare yourself. And I am going to. Hit him with my longsword twice. So, first attack 23 to hit. That'll be nine points of damage. And then, because of a Eldritch Invocation thing, I get two attacks. Very cool. Gonna need you guys to really not turn to stone for a minute. Time is kind of precious here. Damn. Seven to hit. Hold on. Um, what does your sword look like, by the way? I will answer that in a bit. There's a feature where I crit on a 19, and that is what I'm looking up. You have to do Hexblade's Curse to to get that. You're that, right, you're right. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Yep, just found it. Um, okay, so normal damage. Ooh, maxed. Nice. All right. Yeah, you take him out with your blade, two expert slices that cause him to puff up, crumble, and explode in a cloud of dust. I need Thrag and Frexus to give me constitution saving throws, please. Um, I only have advantage on those for concentration, I believe. Um, let's see. Was... Yeah, that worked. Ah, very nice. There's one ability I thought you might give me. You breathe it in deep and it makes you stronger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's dexterity saving throws. Never mind. Okay, let me roll um, my con and probably, fa probably fail. It's a con save, right? It's just a con save? Yep. So the question is, does that door open in or out? Okay. We will see Thraxus able to dispel the effects, not uh, so for Thrag, who will quickly begin to calcify and turn into a handsome statue of a lion with a bloody war axe. 
<clears throat> Shit. Unfortunate. So, an uh, important question here for Kyle. Does mm -hmm. that door open in or out? Which door? The door that Drag is almost leaning against. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the one that he's uh, preferably going like this against as he turns yeah, to stone. Yeah, it, <laughs> it was closing the door. It, I it was closing. In. in. Oh, God. It opens in. Perfect. He's, well, he's spread out of the store. Except if somebody does try to open it and they knock him over, that could be a problem. <laughs> He's a strong boy. He'll be fine. Well, no, you can't. Fine. You can't tip him over. He's too short. He's if too he was short. taller, if exactly. he's taller, yeah, but Impossible he's so small. To <laughs> you presume to tell me what can and cannot be done? <sighs> so many people me, come but... to open that door. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't see me pushing up my glasses, but it happened. <clears throat> Anything else you'd like to do on your turn, Frixis? Um. That was action. Someone hold the door with him, and I will move to here. Wait a minute. He asked for your turn. Is this that SpongeBob moment where he's looking back and forth for the Skyrim battle music? Have we not left battle? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, no. Uh, the music hasn't stopped. Go fix it. That's where I'm going to stand. Okay. Josephine, it's your turn. The Skyrim battle music has not stopped. Mmm, then we know. Then we know. Oh dear, I don't have a spell for that right now. Alright, Thrag, you guard the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. We're probably needing to deal with this other guy. Um, yeah, might as well. I... And 15. Can I just use arrows? Yeah, nice laggy arrows. I'll go right here. Do I see that nerd? Yep. All right. He's currently looking in your direction, having oh, drawn yeah. his sword. I am sure he is. Hmm, what can I do? You have like a sacred flame or something? Oh, I do. I just want to see if maybe there's something a little more potent in my kit here. I do. Doubt it, but I might as well take a look. 2d8, nice. Hmm? Oh, it is for sure. But I just, uh, if there's something more potent, I'll take it. I just want to see what I got. Uh, Spirit Guardians and Spiritual Weapon are both sweet, but I'm holding concentration, so I can't do that. Spiritual Weapon would have been a good grab from the beginning, though I didn't think to grab it. Why can you cast it at higher levels? Does it do? Increases Extra the damage, damage by d8? Huh? That's insane. Wonder why I didn't do that automatically in Beyond. Whatever, it's fine. Um, okay, so then we're just going to do the hoop de doop de. Actually, I'll I'll get the spiritual weapon out. It's a bonus, right? It is. Let's get it out here. And non concentration. It, it's absolutely that. This is true. It has to be a second level spell. My last second level spell. Do we think I should save spells for healing and not dermage? What? There's a dragon. There's a dragon. Let's not go heavy. Let's just stay nice and light with an old old friend, Sacred Flame. Give me that dexterity saving throw. <laughs> oh, oh wait. wait. I, you probably could have just done that and it would have automatically hmm? I don't. for him. Yeah. I oh, don't, right. oh, right, because you're not in the she, thingy. Yeah. Silly me. Yes. Uh, 19, pretty sure that's safe. Yeah, no, no, no. This is the TV fans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. Uh, that no go through -y. Oh, shoot. And then, um, I moved for 5, 10, 15, 20 feet. I'm gonna take cover right here. Okay, All that's right. Well, if I'd known you were moving, I would have moved up further. The music was still going. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Laffy, it is your turn. Hmm. That is the one problem.
Alexander, are you there? Oh, I was accidentally muted. No, you're good. Um, I'm gonna use the restroom. I'll okay. be right back. Uh, I'm going to do so a slightly bigger hit because I just don't want this guy to be in this room anymore. So we're gonna go with a guiding bolt first. Oh, I agree. Ooh. Yep, that'll uh, that'll hit. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, I forgot to target him. Sorry. Fifteen. That's okay. I'll put it on him. All right, uh, then I will, because I pre-archer formed. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, we And then launch. I'm also sliding into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just I'm just imagining a little doe sliding across the floor, like shooting a bunch of projectiles. <laughs> Four legs skidding instead of two. Exactly. Oh, yes. yes. She there was she stopped running slightly past Frixis and slid that distance. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll watch that Baz Draconian get absolutely lit up. He is. Bashed, battered, and bleeding, but still alive. Are they surprised? No, they are not surprised. Oof. All right, he is going to use both of his actions to sprint. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. It's 35, 40. Half movements on him. Huh? Oh, the arrows are just moving him really, really slowly. Never mind. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, he sprints across the room, turning the corner and grabbing a horn off of the rack. He takes a deep breath, and it is Thrag's turn. Thrag, give me a constitution saving throw. Let's go, Threg. Let's go, Threg. <laughs> All right. It, it's still lagging. He's still moving. Boss Draconian is trying his very best. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. I think I can do stuff again. He is two south of uh, Josephine. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Awesome. Okay, yeah, you will break free of the petrification, the effect waning off of you. I, I think it may, he he the he. End of turn. <laughs> it's the end, unfortunately. That's how I think, this I, always works. I think I think he cut. I think he s continues his sentence where he was cut off. It's like, and that's why closing the door is polite. <laughs> <laughs> where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Frixis, it's your turn. Good timing, Thrag. Um, Frixis is going to try to not let that happen and just step up here. Let's see. I don't think I have anything to give me advantage. So, just regular swinging away. Nineteen? Nineteen hits? Nice. Oh, I didn't have it targeted, that's why. Oh, it's almost my turn. I just turned up perfect time. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Drag woke up. Okay, that'll hit. No way, that's awesome. Is that just a round? That'll take. No, he he rolls really he high. Oh, oh, you make the saves. I forgot. Nice. So Frixis is gonna see him start raising that horn to his mouth, and he's gonna s run over there and just slice straight through the horn and hit. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'll watch both objects falling to the ground dead. 
I will need another constitution saving throw from you. Yep. All right. Yeah, you're able to prevent yourself from breathing in that dust, avoiding the petrification as he crumbles to a fine powder on the floor. I feel like we should start wearing masks. That would be a good idea. Laffy, the key? Oh, yeah. We have to deal with things in the courtyard though, right? Still, yes, of course, but we might as well have what we need. <laughs> Was that the, um, the combat music ending? <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, we're, we're safe. So we're out of We're out safe. Of <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast Armor of Agatis on myself while we have a second here. That's a good idea. Good on you. I'm going to continue Actually, to conserve my spells. Yeah. I used a uh, one of my free spells to mm. try to kill him. I have I have a silvery barbs and I have an invisibility spell for free, so I'm saving those. I use my invisibility. I have a. Uh, oh, hold on to mine. For the getaway. Hold on. I'm gonna do an experiment here with how Fantasy Grounds works with this. I want my healer on here so bad. It would just be so much cooler to just target you guys. Oh, <laughs> Punch so good. you with heals. Okay. You could just drag a couple of heals into this. Need my spells to treat. I don't want to mess with it right now. My, my attention span will get all wacky trying to pay attention to what's going on at the same time. Alright, so we've got... Do we just rush out and... Surprise the uh, courtyard. Um, I feel like if we do that, the biggest worry about the courtyard, and you guys let me know if you agree, don't you think that will like summon all the rest of the guys a little bit, or do you think it's safe? Yes. It's yeah. Everything we do is gonna summon everyone else. I think at this point. Oh, no, no, I think the tower because this proves that it won't summon everything. If we go to the different corners, we might be handling those on their own for the most part, as long as we don't let one sound a horn i think the if, fight here proves we if we can corners. sneak in between towers and then do i still that. have concentration up we still still have it we still have a good <laughs> chance to hit these towers that would be really like this went fairly well obviously it could we not go hit well the other two there. towers because we have to cut through the courtyard for the other two but we can hit this mm-hmm. bottom tower you're right There's... you're right we could get this bottom tower which is still putting it further in our favor we should probably grab that key tis to have it though oh i have the key Oh, you do? You grabbed it from before! That's right! Yeah. Okay, we don't have to mess with that silence room at all. It's just to let them sleep diligently. Yep, you just have to not take hits. I, I'm going to try that. <laughs> so then maybe I go in the back and we take on the next tower? What do you think, boys? Yeah. Seems like a good plan. I think we should go fast, too. Uh, go fast? Yeah, not lose spells. Like, uh, yeah. not lose time ah. spells. Let's go. Okay. South right, we're going to try and sneak across the South Tower, Kyle. All right, so our party is going to reconvene at uh, Thrag and quickly make their way across the battlement to the other tower. Now, I would like some stealth checks. Got it. Oh, boy. I'd love to, like, roll two high numbers. Hey! I asked for it, I got it. Hey, Three or ten, everyone. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Ten. I had a natural 20. Oh, that's what I say. And how you oh, hire the me? And, I, and, we, and we get advantage leather. on this? We're rolling disadvantage because of armor, so no. It's normal. Okay. You wear a breastplate, so you don't have that problem. I, it's true. My my, le- I wear normal pants. I'm the stealthiest among us by one point. <laughs> All right. I am a literal yeah, cat. Right. <laughs> okay. Our party makes their way stealthily, quietly, across.
across the battlement. No, I can't grab you. Should we try to do the same thing I did before? Maybe I, I hand it up a little. Yeah. Oh, I, was... I, just lost the map. I like it. Yeah, this map must have a lot of assets because it's lagging for me too. I got to close it a few times and reopen it for to refresh. Get I feel like here. it might. I feel like it's got a memory leak. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We we knew, we learned that before. I think that it's. I'm gonna guess that maps would, if they potentially have more stuff, will be laggier. Because there are, we already, we know there's a, quite a few dudes on this. Yeah, now I'm smooth as silk. Yeah, after restarting the map, it is much better. Where am I? Oh no, I'm gone. Did someone step on top of me? No, you, you're right in the middle of the wall. Can't see me. You're... There I am. There you go. There. Yay, appreciate it. You guys aren't on the squares. Get on the squares. It bugs me. It would uh, be on the squares, but they are not on the squares. Oh, they're yeah. not on the squares. I'm I'm trying to be first. Oh, okay. I'm um I'm going to move, Kyle. I'm just closing out the map and restarting it. Oh, that's a square, just, I guess. Equals two yeah. story quest. I feel like my tokens are too big. Oh, I can do that. Nice. Items, images. How do you make your tokens smaller? Hold control and scroll down. <gasps> Make me turn <laughs> I want to see more. Dice, party sheet. You can oh. make yourself bigger or smaller to play on your animal. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Be like me. So for some reason I can't load up the map by myself. It's pretty it's strange. An it's an image. Other images. Yeah. And uncategorized. I just did images uh, and then hit search for and then wheel. It's near the bottom, because W. A wheel. Wheel watch. All right. Wheel watch. Okay. Yeah, that actually worked. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take a different strategy this time. And when walking in the door, like normal-ish, um, he's going to say, I've come to introduce a few new mercenaries that are joining the band. And look around for the horn while I'm, uh, while I'm doing that. All right. Well, as you go to open the door, and begin to step inside, you see that an individual was already trying to do that in the opposite direction. He's huge! <laughs> He's a giant! <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> My god, we're dealing with hill giants! He did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> it's Andre! He sees you and the vague cloud of silhouetted people. It's a misty day, you know? It's fine. And you're saying you're introducing some people. Mm -hmm. Give me a deception check. Ooh, this better be good. I'm introducing these cloud people. Be a, uh, a Christmas. It is a like weird army of amalgamation of different species. It, it's mist um, people. Wait, since I'm in Elemental. their armor, <laughs> does that help me at all? It would give you advantage if your situation wasn't incredibly sus. That's fair. <laughs> uh, we're, That's we're elementals. Fair. We're wind elementals. Come on. How about a 20? It's not bad. All right, let's see. Wind elementals. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he raises an eyebrow, but steps aside. Okay. Uh, so Phrixus will start walking into the room, uh, keeping an eye out for where that horn is. Yeah, when you walk into the room, you can see that it is hung on the south wall between the set of two arrow slits and the lower right corner arrows so bottom right corner of the room 
Okay. He'll start walking in and say, Yes, we have a couple new mercenaries that have come to join our cause. Let me make some room for them. And he'll try to walk through the room towards the, where the horn's at and then uh, kind of turn around to face them as if he's still speaking to them. And the soldier will look back at you. And why the hell are you here? Introducing the new recruits. To everyone. On, I've already seen everyone else. On watch? Why not? I can't move my character right now to where I was going because uh, it's I can move mine. doing things. Sorry. Where do you want him to go? Close that. Uh, close to the, the horn was his intent. Just bringing them around to all the people that happen to be awake. So that Did you kill, get to know their faces. Alright, give me another deception check. Let's save. Let's, let's roll check. Okay, good. <laughs> He's nothing if not consistent. <laughs> oh my god. Well, well I got it's a regular. I don't know why the commander would choose to do that in the middle of watch, but. I've seen weirder dust clouds. <laughs> well, drop this whatever is... that is so I can say hello. It's weird that you're trying to introduce yourself while being masked. Almost sussy. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. <laughs> who's, who's, uh, who's masked? What does he say? Oh, oh, we're, we're all, veiled. We're oh, all okay. still past without a trace. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I was going to say, this is Josephine, Alafi, and Thrag. Thrag, would you like to introduce them to your friend? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Let me... Excuse me. I'm going to try to get myself in, but I can't get through okay. the door. Yeah, I can't get through the door either. The door blocks your path. Not deep. Oh, no. uh, not, uh, just no, me. I pass through <laughs> doors. I have passed through doors on. It's a concentration at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Now, oh, wait, no! Thrag exists only on the lines, never on the square. <laughs> I tried, Ed, I tried. I even was like, I'm gonna take the time and just hover over the square that I want. <laughs> wait, if, okay. If the map is not working, you can close it and reopen it, and that'll buy you some performance for a little bit. He rides the line between time and shadow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. One, one, one second. Let me let me let me fix that really quick. Let me just load that back up. Awesome. I totally um, can just position I'm, myself between uh, Josephine and the guy, so he, she won't get hit. I'm yeah, I'm yeah. I'm almost <laughs> I'm almost tempted to roll a, an intelligence check to me to do like oh yes, let me introduce you to my friend. And really ominous music starts like this is a laughy. <laughs> 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 and he's like, hello. <laughs> uh, well, yes, let me introduce you to my... It's not really a friend, but... Uh, all right, then. And he will... Um, he will rage as a bonus action. Okay, give me initiative. Oh. Uh, could I... Could I potentially... Twelve for me, dungeon master. 
you would be so I initiative decided to, to my, I decided to mm -hmm. let loose before it was in the box. There's gotta there. be a way for it to let me do it. I know it exists. Alright. So with Thrag hinting at his nefarious friend Laffy and then roaring into a rage, combat has begun. Frixis, you are the first. Oh, I should have. I should. I should have shoved him. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Thrag's How not going to you? do it. Uh, he'll step over to this guy and bring his longsword down. I'm also trying to not exist on the line. You have to ride the line. You got it. Apparently. <laughs> Jesus. We're playing a really complicated form of D and D where the line is also a move space. We move real slow here. Real it's slow. not. It's not We're a terribly go bad problem. Like, it's, it's fine if you're not perfectly on the square. Yeah, I'm also trying to actually target him. There we go. Okay. And now two long swords attacks. I'm sure there's a map setting to turn it off. That is a hit. Eight damage. And a second slash. Ooh, natural one. Do you like that it has an automatic miss for natural ones? I'm gonna right. save it. Okay. So yeah, it he, slash him. he parries your attack and then shouts to the other man, I don't think they're recruits! Anything else you'd like to do? Um... I think that's it. That would... You said the, the horn's in the bottom right corner? It's yep. right next to you, I think. Okay. Pretty much. So, I will stick there, I guess. Yeah. I think I am good. Pass my turn. Alright, Thrag's turn. Alright, um. So. Uh, Thrag will, will raise his battle act and scream, I'm laughing, I didn't mean to represent it! <laughs> and he just flies off into a rage. He tries to apologize to Alafi for insinuating <laughs> she was n nefarious. <laughs> and we'll do a... Um... I am nefarious, Thrag. I will do a reckless attack. <laughs> and I will go... Says the will... shadow. <laughs> says, the sh says the shadow, yeah. <laughs> So, I'm going to turn my rage on. Rage! <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, okay, so I'm going to attack with my battle axe. That's an 18. That's 10 damage. Very nice. Your rage, is your rage actually on? Oh, yeah, so yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. The radiant damage was in it. Yeah, but that's a separate. Well, it's plus, action. it's plus five, so I think it's working. Okay, <laughs> I just want to make sure that. Yeah, it's it gets it's supposed to get extra two damage, so. Yeah, that looks like it's working. All right, can you reckless attack with both extra attacks, Jacob, as barbarian? Uh, you reckless attack with, I think, everything I think it's on the your turn. turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Like you don't have a choice at this point. Oh, that that really that really hits. I get some extra. Oh my god! It's they really were on top low. of each other. That's crazy. All right. Well, so seventeen damage. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Thrag takes his two-handed axe and absolutely destroys that door. The door is gone. Uh. The door. Yeah, he I, he wasn't targeting anything, so I assumed he was probably targeting the door. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! In my defense, that was the lag. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It was. It's always been the lag. Uh, all right. So 17 damage crunching into the soldier. It is now Josephine's turn, unless you're moving anywhere. No. Or oh, him. Yeah. What is that? Why do I hear <laughs> copyright sounds? Copyrighted material. It's my f me accidentally hitting my phone. You better stop that. All right, I am uh, doing uh, some fire up on this here dragon army soldier who is wounded. May the light of the mother bathe you in sunlight. And she is <laughs> just going to a uh, sacred flame. They need to make a deck save. Well, let's see how they do. Let's see how they do. Yeah, yeah. Which one are you targeting? The heavy oh, wounded the, or the, the regular The one wounded? that's uh, heavy wounded. Let's see if we can finish it off. I'm not rolling. It's 2 d eight. So I don't know that it's too crazy. The mother's UV rays. Let's see. <laughs> You're just microwaving people. <laughs> You will have to manually roll that for them, since I am oh, right. a bomb. Okay. Which one? One the or two? Heavy, heavy. That would be number okay. one. Number one. Yep, that's number one. All right. And you said it was a which save? That's a dexterity saving throw. Sir. Yeah, dexterity saving throw. Okay, here we go. Oh. 15. They succeed, and it's just nice and shiny. Do you see him? I wasn't ever going to harm you in the first place. That's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just casts you in a different light then, doesn't it? You look great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dark shadow, evil doe lady. Uh, so uh, I am, in fact, nefarious. So I guess I will do my archer form on let's target him. So everything. Come on, target. There he goes. On him. What's happening? You are targeting, targeting him. Targeting. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't showing on my screen targeting, so I was trying to fix it. Alright, uh Alright. Yep. You give him a blast. And he falls to the floor, crumpling. And then I will move into my friend here. Come on. Come on, game, move. All right, I'm going to reload the map. It just means you're doing really well. The map can't handle it. Oh, you're going up there? Uh, no, I was, that's just where the map decided I was moving. I'm going here. <laughs> there we go. And I'm targeting this guy by kicking him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that one's dead. Where are you going, Olafi? No, that one's still alive. The one to the north? No, it's... Laffy oh. South. Is it, am I lagging now? Yep. Time to close. Apparently. And open it back up. Okay. Oh, I need to look. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're good. I yeah, you, you gave him a healthy crunching. <laughs> okay, now he is surrounded. He is surrounded. And it is his turn. He's going to shout at the top of his lungs, We're under attack! And then he is going to move here and then make a desperate dash for the horn. So that is two attacks of opportunity if you want them. Yeah, you better put him back. Let's see if he doesn't make it. You better put him right back in that corner. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you better, sho rubber, shove you him. better rubber band that boy. Shove him. Push him down. Make him prone. You um, can't do that you... as a reaction. No. It's okay. part of the attack action only. Unfortunately. Damn. Okay. What a bully move. Oh, wait. That would, Push be, him in. that would be fun. Oh, I think this guy's dead. I think he didn't make it out of that corner. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can put a blood stain back over there if you want. 
Mm, wait, why does it roll with advantage? Because I'm like that. Don't question it. Oh. <laughs> Just let it happen. Okay. <laughs> because you're that hitting a corpse. That, that might have something to do with it. <laughs> Mm, it's so much easier to hit him now. Mm, why is it so easy? <laughs> you didn't have to go and do that. <laughs> yeah, the... I used my creepy glowy hooves and then my normal hooves. Because that is the attack I make on Attack of Opportunities is my hooves. Mm, we know the stone of these walls covers the screams of the innocent. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you like reared up on the back front leg or back legs and hit him with the front legs, and then you went back down and back kicked him as he ran up past Dude, you. Gargot, Gargot has had just smashed between hooves and stone. It's not great. Oof. Are there any? So is the battle music still going? There's no arrow slits looking inward. Kyle's gonna use that against us if we keep bringing that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah, gonna be yeah, like, yeah. yeah, everything's fine as I move yeah, yeah. everything towards you. Um, should I take a peek? Probably. It's gonna kind of crack the door and, uh, look around to see if anybody's responding to the shouts it's you working. peek through the door you don't see anybody running around you don't hear any shouting it's a windy day man uh, can that. i try and sneakily peek through the door over by me sure well? yeah peeking through the door you will see a similar thing there everybody is just holding position nobody is shouting or yelling okay this has been going pretty well yes we've been disabling them one at a time I believe you're our... at the point that we have to cross the courtyard to get to any more hmm. I believe we are at our or uh... we climb over this gate <laughs> 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 no one will ever see us <laughs> It's only how... ten foot four, we'll be fine. How thick is that gate? You know, it's looking like a whole five feet. <laughs> <laughs> you could attempt to cross the door, but it would require an acrobatics check. Hmm, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that is <laughs> Well, how good am I at acrobatics? I think we should not do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we should go through the courtyard. I think we should go through the courtyard too. So our goal is this southern... The gate. The southern gate is what I told the Raven to move gate. through, because we can guard both the gate and handle the dragon at the same time. Okay. And there should be... Three in the courtyard, five in the other towers, a cook and a captain. We're going to have to deal with likely all of the rest of them as soon as we make our presence known in the courtyard. Potentially. What do you mean? Well, we are blurry clouds. Perhaps we can confuse them on our way down there. I do like that no one has managed to get an attack off yet. Yes, I actually might not have to um, heal you so much. <laughs> Though we haven't faced the dragon, so I'm definitely you... holding my breath. Yeah, save, save for that. Um, we may also... Hmm. I could invisibility. In... Oh, sorry, go ahead. That was my suggestion as well. If I go invisible, I drop the silence, and then I appear between them oh. and my spiritual guardians, they might all die. <laughs> <laughs> what would that what would that look what would that look like? That would look like me appearing in a lot of hell ripping through. <laughs> A lot I don't of damage that does. 3d8. 
and then it would do 3d8 on cast and 3d8 on their turn i think is it that broken i have to see i think i remember being stupid in tomb um when you cast it you may designate any number of creatures you can see and then on their turn and when their turn starts so it would be 6d8 <laughs> but it's i don't know if i can catch all of them unless they're all within a large range which is you could step into the middle of the silence room it is only 30 i mean i could <laughs> but i don't know that my character would do that with a good conscience uh -huh. I, I like again they can't defend themselves so i don't know that i would do that but the um it is only 30 feet so i severely doubt they're all inside of a 30 foot cone I think it's like one up here, one in the middle, and like one further down. Oh yeah, they're all spread out. Yeah, so it wouldn't work. It'd be funny. That's something for the future. Well, actually, you do know where they are because you were peeking through the door. So let me add them to the... Yeah, I don't think yeah. they're within because it's 15 feet around me. Yeah, they're way too far apart. Now, the room would be... I might have to. I might have to go to church after that for a while and really, <laughs> really start to pray that blood away. Or you keep your silence up. You let me in there and just and... let me in there. <laughs> your sins or are your own. Track, maybe. I um. I feel as though we can just let them sleep for now. They'll be sound. Yeah. We can just let the army in there. That's true. Perhaps they can capture them. I just won't think about it. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah, 3d8 is we... a decent amount of damage. It's six after. Yeah, that would be six in the, okay, the initial cast and then on the start of their turns. So, that's so broken. We could also continue our mm -hmm. ruse of me leading you through the compound and lead you up to the other two towers just walk across the courtyard you could go out there tell them that um something happened someone got hurt bring them up here <laughs> into this <laughs> room <laughs> one at a time no no tell them you need all of their help that would probably be hard wouldn't it you are quite good at convincing people we literally came in here as mirages and they just let us <laughs> in <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not against that plan. Uh, jumping down there to attack would certainly... I don't know if we have enough range to corral them all. There's the dragon I would need to get closer. But... I, I feel like the door plan, even though I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm falling off that door, it's sounding better. Not a very big courtyard. Go right across the door, and then what are we doing once we get there? Go to the other tower. The other tower, yeah. and then uh, if we <laughs> remove all the if we remove all the towers, the three in the middle are not as bad <laughs> <laughs> as it seemed previously. True, we do know though. If we make a ruckus in the courtyard, dragon friend may. Oh, enter the fray as well. The dragon friend for certain is going to be a problem, but the just those three and the dragon I would rather face than those three and additional five and the dragon. It is, a, fair. it is a question if all of us can get across, and me being, well, let's just say Jim Class didn't treat me well in Elven High School, so. <laughs> Don't know if I'm making it over that gate. <laughs> I may make it, but... Mm. If someone does fall, I think I'm going to save uh, a feather fall for our escape. That's true. If that happens, so I will not be using it in this instance, just so you know. This makes sense. Or we could just rampage down there and take on the remaining eight soldiers ourselves on top of the um, the dragon, though I doubt those soldiers are going to descend. They'll probably shoot us from afar. I think there's ten soldiers. Ten. There's five? Wait, three? 
How many in those Three, towers? Five in the tower. Five total in the towers. A cook and the captain. This is true. A captain we are not considering. I like what? the going to the towers. It feels, it feels like our best. I don't shot. know if we can get across the that. I, I get the, old, the alternative is facing the courtyard, at which point we likely face most of them without a clever ruse. But there are no arrow slits in on the towers, so we're probably good there. Uh, All the arrow slits went out. It's still the battlements. I still have a range on us. Our primary goal Something. here is to open that gate, though, and then take care of the dragon. The rest of them... Well, what we've done so far has been great. Perhaps. But... I mean, we've already... We've already I think you are right, Frixis. We've already successfully weakened it. Why don't we charge the courtyard, get that door open, and to hell with the rest of the fort finding out we're here. Hmm. We've significantly weakened them already. Especially if we stop them from going up to wake their friends. I could potentially also try to do the ruse thing and go unlock the gate with that 50% chance that key works. That's the other problem. Mm. Yeah, but they'd probably stop you as soon as you try to open the gate. Two plans are always better than one, an A and then a B to happen if A fails. I'm game for anything. Most of this plan has already gone off without a hitch, so... We count ourselves lucky. Well... If we make trying to cross the gate our A plan... Oh, no, 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 no. I meant your ruse be the A plan. The gate is probably going to end very poorly. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. just a gambit. True. Go for your ruse. If it fails, we descend. Okay. Shall we at least make our way across to the stairs then? Oh, certainly. We want to be in an advantageous position when battle inevitably happens. My map has been open for too long. <laughs> Close that map. We're going to work our way over to the stairs stealthily. Right after I close my map. <laughs> I'm going to close the map just as a pre precursor for this. Die, map, die. It won't even let me exit out of my map. Save. <laughs> it won't die. <laughs> and now it is alive yet again. Is this the Vecna of maps? It can't die. Oh. oh boy, it's Vecna, the Undying. I do have to be done at 10.30, but I'm good until then. Will do. There we go, it finally closed. Oh jeez. So our party is arrayed near the stairs into the courtyard. Yep. What is our first move? Um, just me? You're the one who can disguise yourself. I can't. Mm -hmm. I can make myself invisible. Well, maybe for Thrag comes with me, and I do the same introduction thing. If you want the to. two of you kind of can stay up there if you have range. I feel like that mm -hmm. went off because they rolled a once. <laughs> maybe just you would be a better ruse. That's my opinion, okay. at least. You can come up with some reason you're down there, some reason to get the gate open. Like, oh, the reinforcements have arrived. I just got news from somebody. <laughs> I don't think about who that would be. Also, you have to stay within a distance of a Laffy to continue getting the pass without a trace. So. That's true. Yeah, so you'll leave it, which is good. We don't really want you to be in it for this because it makes you less sus. That's 60 feet? No, uh, 30. 30, so it's not too okay. far to be able to get... Oh, once you're, like, over there... It's, like, halfway across the, mm -hmm. the thing. 
I mean, yeah, you can, like, from where you are, from where Laffy is, it goes, how long? 15 feet? 30 feet? 30 feet from me. Yeah, it is covering all the way up to here. Can you choose to not give it to him for a second, or is it not that easy? Probably not. I think it's on cast. I'll go double check. I think it is just on cast, and then the it's people. also probably willing creatures. You could choose to not be willing. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. If it yeah, if it says willing, I just wonder if post cast, pre cast, it doesn't matter. However, the DM rolls it. You could just oh, no, attack at the door. It's not on cast. It's I can just un. Oh, okay. Make you not on the list. There you go. <laughs> it didn't say on cast, so. Uh, you got blacklisted. It's removed <laughs> you from the stealth zone. Hit that denial list. Okay. You so... could also go with the. Uh, My friends hurt. Come up here. Blah, blah, blah. You know, you're... there's a couple of <laughs> lies you could do. You just pick your ruse. Pick your favorite. Getting the gate open is also good. Lots of options. <laughs> Um, from where we're at, can we see any horns around the inside courtyard? Uh, you see that there's one hung up by the gate controls on the north and south gate. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go down the stairs somewhat hurriedly and say, do you know where the captain is? One of those damned draconians got their arms stuck in the uh, arrow slit. And that's going to be my approach to this guy. Okay. What the hell was he reaching for? Who the hell knows? I don't know. Do you know where the captain is? Or do you want to just come help me try to pull? No, I don't know where the captain is. Hey! He walks uh, five feet over here and addresses the soldier to the north. Go find the captain. One of them is stuck in the window again. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened before. <laughs> All right, bring me to a believable lie. <laughs> okay. Captain will grab the grease. <laughs> Sounds good. You gotta He'll lead him into here. <laughs> turn around and yeah, try to lead him into the the door that we first entered. <laughs> We're so stupid. Oh. Okay. Uh, and he's gonna kind of nonchalantly try to wave them to hide back behind the wall a little bit. If they, I, I don't know. I'm gonna need everybody to make a stealth check though. Yeah. And I'm gonna need uh, Frixis here to make deception. <clears throat> deception, please. Yeah. Um. Hey, I don't remember you. Click my <laughs> shoves <laughs> yeah. The character sheet is lasting. Behave, Fantasy Grounds. Behave. Okay. I am just closing the map so that I can actually do this. And now it won't let me grab dice from my character sheet. What's your character sheet? Can you open it? There it goes. There we go. Yay! All right. Am I in the right spot? Should I? Should I be here? Sure. You tell me. Well, I when I I had to close out. Uh, like Fantasy Grounds wasn't responding, so I was like all the way back into the the watchtower where we were. Like, all the way back over here. Huh. Yeah, that's weird, because I had moved you along with everybody else up towards the stairs. Yeah, you've been there okay. for a while. Okay. Give me a stealth from one more person. 
Oh, you need a stealth from me? Yes, sir. If you're trying not to be detected. With your plus 10. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sorry. It was just... Wow, these dragon soldiers are gullible. Just I'm just good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Laffy's saying that? Okay. <laughs> I, I love that take. It's like, wow, they have to be bad and I can't be good. <laughs> uh, just like, looking at rules too, they they could have made all of their rules for the D4 and we wouldn't have noticed. I rolled a... I rolled a <laughs> it's true. All right. The rules are not with them tonight. <laughs> Frixis is going to try to just, like, usher him into the door, mm, like, keeping his either. body between them a little bit, just trying to help with that. I actually haven't hurt anyone, and I love that so far for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, they've saved on both of your attacks. You've I just thought my heart isn't in it. <laughs> I have hurt people. <laughs> As you should. Um, hey, can we get him in that room with all of us? Frixis will also try to, yeah, motion behind him to follow me in type of a thing. But. Yeah, yep. He will follow you into the room. And <laughs> Frixis will do his best. Oh, dear God! <laughs> Looking at the, <laughs> the dead draconian on the floor. He pulls too hard. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he was perfectly fine this time I saw him. <laughs> they, they explode into dust. So I mean, he's literally like he Did he break his own neck? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I better let the commander know. He will, he will um, turn to leave. And he'll, uh. Let's see. No, hold on a sec, and then, uh, pretty much initiative, <laughs> once he's inside here. I can and, uh, smack him a couple times. Yeah, if he moves through the door, I just shove him back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, initiative. Uh... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can Thrag get another good initiative? There. Oh, okay. Please put 15 inside. Thank you. You are awesome. Uh, we're seeing some people we probably shouldn't. Or we should. <laughs> All right. Wow. All right. So, if we are in combat, that means y'all have drawn weapons on him. So he is very much aware he's in danger. So, he gets to go first. Hmm. He sees he's surrounded. He... That... He didn't break his neck in that window at all! <laughs> No, You're you right. killed him! No, I'm right! And he's gonna <laughs> run for it. Oh, uh, no! Attack of opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I'll bonk him. Uh, no, you guys are right next to him. He's gonna disengage and run to okay. the weapon rack. And then he's going to look... Half. He's gonna <laughs> look in <laughs> shock, awe, and panic at the empty rack and then in the two pieces of horn sitting in a dust pile and then his pale face is going to turn back to the rest of you no uh so 5, 10, 15 alright and he's going to move 5 more feet this way sorry buddy and he steps in the ashes and <laughs> uh it is Olafi's turn well Come on in. The water is yeah, fine. Um, and you did call for the, the more people to I, come here, so we should probably get ready for that. 
I did call for that. In fact, I called for the commander. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> with the other key. <laughs> this is true. Smart move. Uh, guess. We're gonna go with chill touch on him. It's so oh, cold. I've been talking him. Wow. Is that it? Definitely hits. Target him now to do damage. There you go. I did do that. <laughs> oh, so cold. Oh, he's chilled. And then. Archery and miss him. Aw. Alright. Anything else on your turn, Alafi? Uh. Well, I moved as far as I could to catch up to him, so I think that's okay. everything. <laughs> okay, Josephine. I will move. Oh no! Five, ten. Go! I did it. It's just really laggy. 15. I should probably go back outside 20. and just deal with. Uh, I see him, right? Out that people. Hey, he's I... right there. Just say, no, I've tried this two other times today, so you know, maybe you're lucky and maybe you're not. Either way, I apologize, but um, may the mother's healing light bathe you in flame. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> can make a dexterity save. <laughs> Alright. I like that that is just okay. a seven uh, way of attacking. Six. <laughs> ah! It's icy hot! <laughs> yes, but comforting in a way as well. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I was trying to. Spin it well. Alright, that is my action. They Texas. are burning toasty. Um, hold on a moment. Okay. I will move. Oh, oh, right up oh, next to it. Winging at him twice. I think you should explain this is all just a giant misunderstanding. As you hack in, it's <laughs> a giant misunderstanding! We didn't mean for all this. <laughs> Sorry you enlisted. Mm. And then a second attack. Ah, oh, the miss. Um, I'm going to. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. And then that was 30 feet of movement. Tacked twice. I am. Good. The Ragster. Okay. Um, I'm a little far away. But You're I do have. 40 feet of I, I actually have 45 mo movement speed now, so. Hell yeah. That is a fast lion man. So I'm just gonna. Uh, no, 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 it's not. I just presume you're gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Helping you out. Thank you, buddy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm not gonna rage. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna use a Knight of Solemnia ability. And I'm going to get advantage on this attack. 
and I believe um, I do an additional d8 of damage. I calmly murder this man. Yeah, I'm gonna very calm. I'm going to be very, very. Uh, I have to save my rage for the dragon. I feel like he's going to break my face. <laughs> Oh wait! I can't disappoint Kyle. I have to make sure that I'm, I am targeting, the correct, the correct guy. Oh, it's alright. You already have that condition. You just, you can't get another one. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. You can't have what double is, disappointment. What is yeah, what is it, does, <laughs> it? Doesn't stack. What is his name, Kyle? His three. His three. dragon army soldier three. But Man, that's some mean that, parents. Giving him a name, <laughs> Tony. Tony! <laughs> Don't kill Tony! It's time for Pepperoni Tony to die. <laughs> well, ma'am, the birth went through perfectly. What would you like to name your son? Dragon Army Soldier 3. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Since I was born, my parents knew what oh, I was god. destined for. Oh my god, oh my god, why? You're just what? going all out. That's, that's quadruple <laughs> advantage. What? You Are can't you stack <laughs> advantage. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, it only happened with one. He just dropped one. I, so, I somehow right. did. He did both your attacks at advantage. That's okay. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon yeah, Army I mean, Soldier I mean, 3, no! <laughs> all, all right, he's, he's gone. Yeah, he he's dead. He had one HP. AKA Tony. Oh. All you had to do was hit him. <laughs> um... Princess <laughs> will bend down and say, Out of all your friends you've, I've killed, you are my favorite. <laughs> I love you, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> he joins the corpse of the dust guy on the ground. <laughs> he, he dies in a cloud of dust clouds. <sighs> in dandruff zone. We are murderers. Well, I did call for the commander, so we should prepare for that happening. So we shall, and I go to the back. I can, um, potentially ruse that, um, he's down. Did we? Hmm. Alafi, do you want to go back there and check for another horn, just in case? Oh, for the other side of the room? Yes. That's what I feel like he was running for, potentially. Well, there's no other way into this hallway. I know that. So I think we're good. And that other guy ran all the way down this hallway. I think he was running to go outside. Not past us. Hmm. Maybe. Alright. So we will end our session tonight with the door opening once again and the shocked expression of a Dragon Army soldier with a vat of grease in his hand. <laughs> Looking out at the corpses arrayed in this hallway and a party of ghosts waiting for him. <laughs> he thinks this place is haunted, oh no! <laughs> this is guy with this grease! Let's get that This has been going incredibly. This whole episode was D and D thing after D and D thing, and you know what I mean by D and D thing. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Every but every that... character we run into fails fails the wisdom perception check. <laughs> so this is so good. That will be our episode for this week. Thank you for joining us, everyone, and be sure to tune in for the next one, where we hopefully don't attract the entire fortress by trying to kill the commander. And then also deal with a dragon. <gasps> and, uh, yeah, good luck, uh, future us. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. Bye! Bye.